Good morning. I have exactly six hours to rush out the scientific poster that I need to make. I need to send to the print shop by the end of the day. Feeling very lucky because I was chosen to present a poster presentation at a research conference next week, except for the fact that I didn't know I was actually going to be presenting until a couple days ago, and I have not started making the poster yet. So to make the cutoff for the print shop to actually print my poster on time, I need to send it in by the end of the day. So within the next six hours, I need to start and finish making this poster, do a couple of dry runs to make sure that it all works well, then go into the office, show this to my boss so that he can approve it, and then send it into the print shop by hopefully 5 p.m. Maybe my face looks really calm and collected, but like internally and literally panicking because I hate rushing for anything. I hate rushing for assignments. I'm usually the type to like start things really, really early on and then like work on it bit by bit. But this is, this is new territory. Because I'm actually in such a rush today, I'm going to stick to my Pomodoro sessions. My favorite focus app for Pomodoro's remains the Flow app. I've used this for years and years and I will never give it up. I actually got a little bit started already, made my coffee, I have my water to chase, and I started the morning by formatting like the title and the authorship. Just formatting that alone took me 25 minutes in the morning, so we're not off to a good start, but you can wish me luck and we're gonna get this done. I'll check in throughout the day and show you my progress. It's now 10 a.m. I did two hours worth of my 25-5 Pomodoro sessions. I skipped one of the breaks so that I can hurry up and finish my work. I think so far so good on the progress. Like I can't really tell right now if I'm like making good time or not. At the very least, I'm on track with what I have done in the last two hours. Not sure how much I can show you, but this is like the poster so far. I basically have most of my things laid out, but the actual content and the writing part of it, I still need to tweak quite a lot this huge results section i have not touched so i'm gonna go take my long break and eat my breakfast before i keep working Lots of people are curious why I use a scale for my breakfast and measuring out my yogurt. A couple years ago, when I started having this breakfast every single day, I had like specific fitness goals in mind. So I was tracking what I was eating, like macros and calories, things like that. But now it's more just like habit and consistency, especially because I eat lunch really late. I usually eat lunch around like 3 or 4 p.m. I'm not super accurate or anything. It's just an approximate... Mm. Please ignore that really annoying beeping in the background. The facility closet in the hallway just goes off every once in a while because they're doing maintenance in the building and it's really, really annoying. But it's not even 11 and we're on coffee number two.
Hello, it is now another two hours gone. I skipped most of my five minute Pomodoro breaks because I didn't feel like I needed them. I was still like really locked in in the mood and also I'm like still in a rush. But progress update, it's going pretty good. I would say this poster is like 90, 95% done. I just have to revise some of the words that I actually wrote into it, but I think I'm really happy with the overall look of it. I'm on my long break again, but uh, I'm in a rush, so I don't think I'll take that. And also, look at how cute this little background is. I got this little Yakult illustration off of Pinterest, and it's so cute. I love looking at it. I'm slowly feeling the coffee crash, but I feel like having a little snack. Look at all these pastries. My mom was so nice last night to drop off these handmade pastries. Look at how many there are. Oh my god. These are all like pistachio cranberry biscottis. There's these pistachio cookies. These are so good. They're like soft, chewy cookies. And then these are butter cookies. My favorite are these ones. I've been waiting all day to have them. They're like little peanut butter brittle things. It tastes exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but the inside is crunchy and it's just like really good. My mom coming through with the study motivation. I'm gonna bring them into the lab later so that I can share with my boss and my colleagues. Like I just need to get them out of my apartment, otherwise I will have every single thing. <laughs> I am so, so tired. I feel really sullen. Like I need to stop looking at my computer, but I'm not done. I have to go and meet with my boss about this poster thing at four, but I think I'm gonna head in a little bit earlier. Maybe go to the library. I have exactly 20 minutes to slap some makeup on and look half decent put together.
it's sometime after nine, I don't know. I came home from grocery shopping, closed my eyes for like a little bit on my couch and then I woke up an hour and a half later. Haven't had dinner yet. Uh, I just really wanted to get my skincare and shower out of the way. I actually bought these pimple patches from the nearby like Korean beauty store. Haven't used pimple patches that often because it's kind of a waste of money in my opinion. Usually I like to let my pimples just kind of like simmer down on their own, but lately my skin has just been going insane. Like, I don't know if you can see, but my forehead's not doing okay. I have like this giant thing that's like kind of healing, kind of not. And then I just popped this one. I did it to myself. And I haven't changed any skincare routine. I'm not like doing too much. Maybe it's the stress, the weather. I don't know. I think the patches will at least help me like stop picking at them because I have a tendency to just pop my pimples when I get too annoyed. I can't even put it on center. <laughs> and then I think I'm just gonna use this like Medicube BHA toner pad just on the rest of the face. The thing with me in skincare is that I don't like a complicated skincare routine. Like who has the time? When I come home and I'm tired and all I wanna do is take my makeup off, the only energy I have to do is to take off my makeup wash my face and moisturize like i don't want to do anything else so all of these like toner pads and things like that you need to use it consistently for a long time to see results and i'm kind of using them just for funsies i actually don't know if they work or not I think I look like a total wreck right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Hey Google, what time is it? Yeah, I'm so tired. I have no energy to do anything else. I don't even want to like read a book to wind down. I just want to close my eyes and knock out. It's been a really long and rough day. I mean, I'm glad that I was really productive and I actually like did work for that long, but all of that mental energy and focus I'm drained. I'm so drained. I'm definitely not that productive and focused every single day. I feel like some days I'm at 100% and then other days I'm like at a 60 or an 80. Thank God it's Friday tomorrow. It's definitely a 60% day type of day. Tomorrow my first meeting is online at 9am so I'm gonna sleep until 8 and then get up just in time to get ready for a Zoom call. Thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate you being here, coming along with me. Hope you're having a great summer so far. If you're still in school, so am I. <laughs> so we're suffering together. And if you're not in school right now, good for you, man. I'm so, I'm so jealous of you. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you being here as always. And I'll see you guys next time.